Like an auntie and I'm mad at it I have to wear like I don't have to but I've been wearing like a bonnet just like anytime my hair's not like done or I'm not about to go out because like the air is so dry so my hair just gets really dry and really flaky and I already have like really weak hair like it just sheds so this is like a protective measure you know this oh my god this is what it looks like i feel like i made too much oatmeal i even had to store the rest of it um but i made oatmeal i topped it off with like this cup which is like this is the only reason why i eat oatmeal because it's like so good it's like cookie butter i think it is cookie butter i don't actually don't know but i topped it off with like blueberries and frozen strawberries Mmm. Cheers. We have a number of things to get on with today. I'm gonna sit here and make my to-do. Because I was meant to do a number of things yesterday. And I didn't. I did not. I use Microsoft to do on my iPad to plan my day. You basically type in everything that you need to do today. And if you have like other stuff from yesterday you can just push it to today okay my brain's freezing i just like to do this because it kind of gives me like a clear idea of some of the things i want to get done and it's honestly really nice to just check things off your checklist i've been reading two books actually i read one for fun and then the other one just for inspo i've been reading things we never got over i hate the fact that it's not really focusing things we never got over i feel like it's just shocking to me how like <laughs> many chapters are novels of like books they're typically longer than like non-fiction books and it's like okay because i'm on page 100 and i'm just 23 percent into the book so it has like what 400 pages or something that's so crazy and then i've also been reading the creative act what i'll typically do is read about two chapters of the creative act just because it was it is um it's more inspirational i'm just gonna be here for the next hour just reading because why not i find that the day that i read i'm always so like excited <laughs> and so happy so i'm literally just gonna enjoy my coffee and eat my breakfast and read extra element of layering not layering of laying like i need her to be flat you know so 
we have a scarf doing his thing i also bought i could show you how i get my messy bun because i got a question on that on like every single reel that i posted on my digital diet so i thought i could show that today it's super easy and obviously i'm gonna do a very in-depth version because i'm just like really going out to run errands really doesn't matter but i'm just like if i keep waiting for the perfect time i'm just never gonna do it it's really not that hard so like you can go as crazy with it as you want but i'm just gonna show you the basics of it i've been using this as a moisturizer recently i like it because it's very hydrating but it does give me like a whitish film on my face but i'm gonna use it again today i don't really care i just like the fact that it has spf in it and it's just like one step and I don't have to layer a ton of product on my skin. Yeah, it's just great. is to get your hair in a ponytail however if your hair is long enough do it if you need to put some extensions in you gotta do that i have an, like a bundle right now extended to my just attached to my ponytail the more extensions you have the more like leeway you get to like play around with it you're gonna want a curling wand the thinner it is the actually like the better it is to get more juicy curls i'm really not interested in curls today i'm really just doing this so that i can like show you guys even if you have a bigger one like i feel like you can just make anything work for you play around with it and see what works you're just gonna need like some bobby pins and extra hair ties this one's my best work um while we're doing this i really don't know what to do maybe i can talk about what we have to do today you guys okay let's talk about what we have to do today i have a return to make um, on queen west and i have to go to canada post i need to go submit a document all of this is happening on the west side um of downtown so it's gonna be like just popping in and out of different places afterwards i need to go to i need to stop at a grocery store because i need to grab a couple of things for dinner and when i get back i need to pack because i'm going to ottawa tomorrow as you can see like i'm not getting very thick curls the thinner sections you take the better and more voluminous curls you get again i'm not really trying to do this for perfection i just really want to get something going i was even going to skip this curling part but i just wanted to give you guys like an idea this is the last one I'm gonna quickly throw on my sweater so that once I'm done my hair, I don't really mess it up again. Ugh. Okay, this is actually one of my favorite sweaters. <laughs> I feel like I say that for all of my clothes. I feel like I look really ghostish, like white, and it's because of the moisturizer. <laughs> I'm gonna take off this scarf. This is what we're working with. Let's say my edges. I actually don't know what this is, but it's like gel gold. Or oh, at my sister's trad wedding, the person that did our hair and um, well, okay, I'm Nigerian, I'm Yoruba, and so like her, obviously the wedding was like Yoruba wedding, was it like Yoruba wedding, and she has to like wear what we call gile. Oh fuck! Like we all did actually. Wear what we call a gile, which is like a head tie. I'll insert pictures so you have a better idea. The person that did her gile uses or use this to kind of lay her edges so that it would look clean i don't know what's in this but i took it because he left it and he said it was fine to keep it um so i just i've been using it since then and i don't want to like run out of it because it's like perfect it just leaves my edges perfectly i just don't know what it is you know after the blood is a ponytail like brush out the curls let them look a little a little natural let them look a little playful then what i like to do is take a hair tie and then i'm gonna fold over like bring it forward to like the front of my face and i'm just gonna fold it over the more hair that you put into this bun the fuller it looks Look. Also, you can leave a couple hairs out to like help with that messy look, but you want to put most of it into like a bun. I could have put most of it in this bun, and this is what you look like at first. And then it's time to play with the hair. I like to put more in the front, and I just like I don't know how to explain this part, but you're gonna just like play around with like placing the hair in different ways. Sometimes I'll use like bobby pins to hold 
the extra hair in place like exactly how I want it. Like if I want this to sit like this, I would just pin this down there. Honestly, it's like up to your discretion. The more curly you make it, the more messy, like the more full and more messy it looks. So it's really, really up to you. This is kind of how I'm gonna just rock it today. Yeah, this is fine for me. Before I head out, I'm gonna have like a very quick lunch. I made a toilet bowl yesterday for dinner, so I have some leftovers. I'm just gonna make those, uh, put, those put that together and have that for lunch. This is like my very quick lunch. I know it looks huge, but I swear like half of it is like literally the lettuce on it. But this is what I had for dinner last night and it was so good. So I just had the remaining leftovers. I have a little bit of rice, some corn, black beans, a lettuce, sour cream in the middle. I have homemade like salsa thingy. And then my chicken, which is really the star of the show. Look at her. She looks so juicy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Cheers. This is obviously like a Chipotle bowl inspired meal. It's just probably a lot better for you since you make everything at home yourself. Mm. Mm. So good. Okay guys, I have like, <laughs> these headphones are like really bad because they're like broken or something. And I don't know if you can see it, but I literally had to like tape it. To put it together i left my airpods at my sister's house i can't make it to her today so like i'm gonna have to wear this it works because it also covers my ears so this is like literally the look if you see a girl downtown today wearing like taped up headphones it's probably me to be honest oh yeah i also like put out my clothes to dry um i don't i really air dry a lot of my clothes to be honest because a lot of my gym wear and stuff I can't put. I just just to make them last longer. My gym wear, my sweats, everything I air dry. This is info you didn't ask for. So let's just go.
which one? I didn't expect to take as long out as I did, but I decided to go meet up with my sister and get my AirPods because I'm gonna be going to Ottawa tomorrow. I just wanted I just wanted to have it for my trip. And then I went and I went to meet up with her. We did a little bit of grocery shopping and we made dinner together. So I packed some and I brought it home for dinner. So I'm just glad that I did that because now I have food and I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I'm also very hungry, so like it works out perfectly. I'm just about to eat and then I'm probably just gonna get into bed after. Ugh, there's something in my eye. Ugh. So creepy, you can literally see. I don't even know, what's this red thing in there? Is that normal? Are those nerves? Alright, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. 